Alright, so before you guys go down in the comments and complain about there only being 5 minutes and 38 seconds worth of this crap, um, well that's what it was before I was voicing over this, but anyways, I would like to put out there that this video was originally going to be, um, called Hunting the Cyclops, because I was going to be searching for Cyclops fragments because I wanted to get more progress in the game, and we still are going to do that, guys, but, um, in this episode, as you will see, some things went sideways, and, uh, well, you're just going to have to watch. Welcome back to another Subnautica gameplay, guys. Hi, I'm Futricator. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button for more Subnautica content. Um, but anyways, let's get right into the video, guys. In today's video, we're going to be searching for the Cyclops fragments, and some of you guys might be wondering, well, we already have the prawn suit fragments, as we did get in um, Return to the Aurora video. Um, the only problem with that is I looked at the ingredients for the prawn suit, and um, oh boy, we are going to have to do a lot of exploring to find the ingredients in that. Um, it's just like, I looked at the stuff and I researched a little bit, and the places where you have to find those things are like, really deep down, some of them are in like the Grand Reef and stuff, and in the Jelly Shroom Forest, so I don't think we're going to be able to find that for a while. Um, but anyways guys, let's go ahead and search the Cyclops Fragments, so where we are going, we are kind of going to the back of the Aurora, um, uh, which is, a uh, bit of a risky spot because there might be some reapers back there usually there isn't when i go back there for my tutorials um but i think we're going to be going a little bit farther back there this time so hopefully it won't be too bad we're going to be searching for cyclops fragments back there and um hopefully we will be able to get some because i really want to get progress in this game guys or get a new vehicle at some point because i'm always excited to get a new vehicle and actually should probably replace the power cell real quick um because it's at like two percent so oh wait okay here we go anyways though guys um where was I? Again, yeah, so we are going to go search for this because I wanted to get some type of new vehicle in the game. Um, hopefully, the Cyclops or the Pronsu. Um, again, like I said, the Pronsu just not look like we're going to get be getting that anytime soon. And I just really want to get a new vehicle, guys, um, like we did with the Sea Glide and the Seamoth. Um, and uh, hopefully, I don't damage my Seamoth too bad. But that's why we're going to go search for Cyclops fragments. And. Uh, we are actually going right next to the Aurora, and this place gets pretty scary, too, because it's basically just the safe shallows, but with, like, no plants whatsoever. And here is our first fragment, guys. Let's go ahead and see, scan this. Cyclops Bridge Fragment. So there actually, there isn't just one fragment to the Cyclops, guys. It's actually multiple. There's the um, Bridge Fragment, Hole Fragment, the, uh, whatever, fra I, don't, I don't know, I don't know, some, there, there are random ones. Engine Fragment, see, um... So we're just going to be searching around here, so hopefully we won't run into any... Okay, I can't go back there. For some reason, it's like a collision right there. They don't want me to go back there. So um, hopefully I won't run into any Reapers, guys, because I remember one time... Um, actually, I think it was when I first started the game. The first thing I did when I started the game, guys, funny enough, is I tried to head to the Aurora, um, and I went too far back, right around here, because I thought I could get in from the back. And uh, I met a Reaper, and it didn't go so well. So... Uh, Let's see, there's uh, some type of, like, valve. Oh, whoa. Okay. Oh, snap. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna park my, uh, Seamoth right down here. Don't, well, not too far down there, but, like, I think the tip for this, guys, is to try to, like, stay low. Because, okay, so let's go ahead and scan this. Let's see? Cyclops bridge fragment. Here we go. Alrighty, there is a reaper right up there, guys. So hopefully we can get enough fragments without getting it, without like running into a reaper. Um, also, it's really hard to get away from it with the sea glide, but I really don't want to use my sea moth, guys, because I'm really nervous that uh, I'm gonna break it. And some of you guys may be thinking that I'm afraid of the uh, reaper, and you are half right there. Um, what I'm really more afraid of is losing my progress in this game. I remember one time when I lost my sea moth. Um, during that uh ghost leviathan video guys we'll get a replay on that right now and holy crap this thing is terrifying all right that's some metal salvage over here yeah um hopefully we don't get too close i'm just gonna try to stay towards this wall guys um let's see all right i'm just gonna try to stay in these little like duny areas here i'm gonna I need to go take a breath actually guys it's a bad idea Ugh. Yeah, we are literally right out in the open right now. So this is a really bad idea. I want to do this as fast as possible. Alrighty, and I don't think you can go into the creep vine forest, guys. So, oh, here's a wreckage up here. It looks like. Is there anything in here? 
No. Uh, oh snap! Okay. Whoa. 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 He can't. He can't. You mean the creep bump force, right? Oh wait. Or can he? Oh snap! I don't think he can come in the creep bump force. Oh shoot! Shoot! Okay, he can. He can. He can. Alrighty, that is uh pretty intimidating. Alrighty, yeah. I don't think we'll be getting uh, these Cyclops fragments anytime soon, guys. Probably gonna have to rename this video to The Reaper or something like that. Um, yeah, guys, I think I'm gonna go search in a different spot now. Um, oh, geez, I'm gonna have to make like a part two or something to this, or a second video. Um, yeah, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Um, oh, snap, yeah. If, guys, I apologize for this, but I really don't think after what just happened, I can be going back there and collecting uh, Cyclops fragments because, jeez, that was just like way too close. And guys, imagine if that had been my Seamoth too. That could have just gone totally bad, guys. So, I think I'm going to have to do a part two to this, guys. I'm sorry, but I really don't want to like lose any of my progress in this. Um, I could probably save, but still, guys, it's, it's a bit risky without my Stasis Rifle fragments. And I think that does it for the video, guys. Um, stay tuned for more vids, and bye. Psych. Anyways, though, I thought it was the end of the video. Anyways, I felt like playing for a longer time. I didn't record this part, um, or and I didn't want to, at least. But apparently, my camera was still recording uh, without me knowing. So here's some of the footage right here. And I was going to head over to the Mushroom Forest to go collect some more fragments. So I'll, so I'll show you guys that. And for a second there, I thought I'd almost fallen off the map because it's just like a straight down abyssal drop. But anyways, I found this mushroom forest. If you guys want to check this out, it is uh, northwest. You can pretty much find this in any mushroom forest I heard, but specifically to go to the northwest one. So if you guys want to check this out, it's northwest. Um, and I started searching around for some spots and uh, I couldn't really find any. The only notable thing I found was like a moon pole fragment and I think a cyclops hole fragment, that was about it. And uh, I just thought that I'd add that in there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button. Well, because, I guess. And uh, see you in my next video, guys. Bye.